Ratchet and Clank PS4 is like a love letter to the fans. It even has the lipstick kiss and the creepy pube. It's been quite a few years since we last saw the duo, but this time they've got their greatest adventure yet. Because it's their only adventure. It's their first. Again. That's right, 14 years later, this is a remake of the original Ratchet and Clank game, and my god, it's beautiful! Are you using your eyes? See the landscape before you and tell me that doesn't look like one of the most beautiful sights created in a game. Okay, Teal, we get it. The game looks good, but does it feel good? Yes. Are you going to elaborate on that? Oh, oh, right, oh, yeah, okay, sure. The original game is one of my favourite entries of the series. Part of it may be nostalgia, but the game really hooks you in with its stunning worlds, its awesome levels, and its bonkers weapons. The biggest problem is it suffers from the rest of the series existing. The later entries are more refined, adding a strafing system as well as upgrades for weapons and your health. As you can imagine, this remake has those and then some. It takes some of the best parts of the series, such as the jetpack from Nexus and the brain collecting from Ratchet 2, the Raritanium upgrades from Tools of Destruction and Nexus, and just expands the overall experience. The story is something that I've seen a lot of split opinions on. It really is a love it or hate it kind of thing, since it's truly screwing with your childhood. Personally, I didn't have any issue with it, especially the big plot twists, which I won't spoil, but if you hold on closely to your nostalgia, you may feel disappointed with the game slash movie's final act. However, I must say congratulations to Insomniac for having the balls to do what they did. <laughs> great job. The game soundtrack is pretty great throughout and does the job well. However, I sort of pined for the original soundtrack since that's what I grew up with. It's a shame that the themes are entirely different as opposed to remixes, but at the same time, I welcome the new soundtrack. I want to hug and embrace it and show it that it's not bad. It's not you. It's me. I'm just hung up on my ex. Okay, weapons. You like the weapons, I like the weapons. The weapons are fantastic. Whilst we may only have two new weapons, and the rest are taken from various entries of the series, we have a great selection, from the Buzz Blades, to the Pyrocitor, to Mr. Zircon, to the Bouncer. Okay, the Bouncer is a pre-order only weapon as of right now, and I don't know if that will ever change, and I hope it does, because you need to use it. It's very broken, I'll admit, but it's a lot of fun to use. It's like a mini Rhino, sort of. Well, I say Mini Rhino. The Rhino in this game is very similar to that of the Future series, and honestly, I've never been a huge fan of that version. I always liked the Rhino 3 myself. Literally everything turns to ash, and I want more of that, because it's actually really cool looking and you feel like a god. The new weapons are pretty awesome. You have the Proton John, sorry, the Proton Drum, which sends waves of energy at your foes, and it can do some extreme damage and actually can level up pretty quickly if you use it in a space with a ton of weaker enemies. And then you have the Pixelizer. Oh wow. <laughs> the Pixelizer turns every enemy into a pixelated version, and then when they die, they just crash into pixels. It's pretty awesome to do and looks visually amazing, and you can also use it on NPCs to make them look like pixel versions, it's pretty cool. And that works with the Groovatron as well, the Groovatron is back, use the Groovatron on the NPCs, they'll dance, they'll have their own dances, it's awesome, check it out. The levels are pretty much how you remember them from the original, with various changes and improvements throughout, but you will notice the similarities. Some worlds have definitely changed or been expanded on, and there are a few new areas to explore, but it is the ultimate HD nostalgia pack, and new players will love how fun everything is to play and explore as well. It's not just the old classic fans of the Ratchet series. Oh no, new players can pick it up and just love it. Fall in love, just as we will again. I've praised this game a lot, and that's because it deserves it. But let me briefly talk about what I didn't like. The game isn't that long. I won't lie, I was able to get everything in a standard playthrough in 10 hours. Admittedly, there is a lot to do after, like upgrading weapons and collecting the cards the game has throughout, and you know, if you missed gold bolts, you can go and find them and whatnot. But the gold bolts and the story didn't take too long for me. I was a bit disappointed at the lack of an arena as well. The arenas have been a staple of the series since they debuted in Ratchet 2. And I know this is technically Ratchet 1 and, it, and Ratchet 1 never had them, but still, it wouldn't be the worst thing to include one, they're a lot of fun. Okay, this one is going to sound like the ultimate nitpick. There are technically no skill points in the game. 
Now, I know they're done as hidden trophies, but hear me out. I really do appreciate the skill points in the trophy section, but I like when there's 30 plus skill points to find in the game. Seeing a checklist that I need to systematically go through throughout the game is satisfying to me, and it felt weird not having it. I also like the fact that you unlock various things by finding more skill points throughout the game, and I know that's in the game with gold bolts, but, you know, two sets of menus for gold bolts and skill points wouldn't be the worst thing. And finally, again this may be a little bit of a nitpick, but I'm disappointed with challenge mode's lack of bolts. In the original, the bolt gain you received in challenge mode was nothing, and that's not the case here, but it's not huge either. Let me explain why. When you did crystal collecting in Ratchet 2, you got 1,000 bolts per crystal, and then 10,000 in challenge mode. Basically everything in challenge mode, from arena missions to crystal collecting and whatnot, times the amount you received by 10. In this game, there are 60 brains which give you bolts, and per brain you get 250 bolts on challenge mode. That means you only get 15,000 after spending 30 minutes slaving for it. I can easily make that in seconds in one of the final planets as long as I don't lose my multiplier. And it's the same story for the hoverboard races, you don't get any extra in challenge mode from standard. Don't get me wrong, I love this game, but I was hoping some of my favourite aspects would return and they didn't. This is just my thing. These may be things that won't affect you, and I 100% respect that if that's the case. I'm just laying these down on the table so you know that they're there. But with all that said and done though, I am proud to give Ratchet & Clank PS4 a 9 out of 10. It's beautiful, it's hectic, it's fun, it's charming, it's exciting, it's going to be played a lot in the coming weeks from me. I highly recommend it. Here's to the next game. A reboot of Ratchet 2 wouldn't be the worst thing, then again, a new story would be awesome. I guess we'll have to wait and see what's coming next. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you left the like, subscribed, and shared the video around. I'm quite happy with how the review turned out. Yeah, I really enjoyed the game. I'm going to be playing it a lot. I'm thinking of speedrunning it. I want to play challenge mode through a lot more. I even want to play it through from the beginning, just not challenge mode. I'm going to do wrench only. Just loads of things with the game I want to do for it because it's, it's a lot of fun. It's so fun. And the things that I said that I didn't like, they're really just nitpicks, they, they're just the ultimate nitpicks, but there's still things that I was like, oh, I liked that from the series, kind of wish you brought it back a little bit, you know, but it is what it is, and the game is awesome, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did, and I will see you for the next review, whatever that is. Thank you very much everyone, take care, bye bye.